All right, in this video, we are going to continue the KOWP for beginners. This is part three, and uh, this will be the last video that I'll do before we actually start creating um, maybe your very first custom live wallpaper if you're following the series. Um, in this video, I want to cover the advanced editor in detail a little bit more. Let me open up KOWP. So inside of your app, this is the advanced editor. Now the things I want to go over here are this, these things that can change, I want to go over the root stuff, and I want to go over these buttons. Now a lot of this stuff down here, all these things here, and I'll, I'll look at this stuff a little bit with you in this video just to get a couple of ideas across to you, but all this stuff down here is going to come when we, when we actually start creating our wallpaper. But let's have a look up here at this. Load preset, you can load presets. Ones that you've saved, ones that you've purchased, ones that you've been, uh, ones that you downloaded, you know, people shared with you. You can export your own using that. Here's the FAQ section, and then the stuff below settings here, all this stuff, you know, the community, I mentioned that in an early video, rate the app, Reddit, all that stuff is helpful, but this stuff here is not going to have a direct effect on your actual custom live wallpaper back over here. However, under settings, there are a few things maybe you need to tinker with. We have already set our wallpaper. Set your clock to whatever you want it to be. First day of the week, calendar, set those if you need to. App language, preferred music player. I'm using, what is it called, Power Amp, I think is what it's called. But uh, I have it set to automatic. But maybe you need to select uh, one of the ones uh, that are inside or one of the apps that's installed on your phone. Hopefully it'll show up up here. But I'm using Power Amp and it works fine. On tap feedback, I have it set to none. If you set it to vibrate, every time you tap on something on your custom live wallpaper, you will get feedback. Weather provider, Yahoo works fine for me, but if you find that later on, once we start adding weather pieces to our custom live wallpaper, if your temperatures don't seem right, maybe a different weather provider will be the fix for that. Measurement units, I have it set to automatic, which actually is going to be Fahrenheit and miles, but maybe you want to use the metric system. Network refresh. How often do you want your weather in RSS to refresh on its own? Mine's set to 30 minutes. You can set it to whatever you want. And you can also force an update right now. Notice it says my last update was nine minutes ago. Tap that. Bam. Now it was updated moments ago. There's actually a button that we can put inside of our custom live wallpaper later on in the series to where we can tap that button on our custom live wallpaper and it'll do the same thing. It'll force an update. Location accuracy, I have mine set to low. I don't use a lot of maps. I don't use um, a lot of the GPS stuff. However, if you, if you get into using the maps, maybe you want a little bit more accuracy, just keep in mind it does use more battery. Primary location, I have it set to auto GPS. You can change that if you'd like, but I think that's just fine. I have not messed with either of these three right here. And then debug dump, if you run into problems and a developer requests a debug file, you can get it from right here, debug dump, underneath the settings menu. And again, make sure, or feel free to go back and look through all of these as well. But none of that stuff is going to affect exactly what's going on inside of here. So now that you've got all that figured out or worked out, um, back inside of here, let's talk about our buttons. Up here at the top, these buttons will change. Right now we can save and we can add. That's add an item plus. Now I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. I said I wasn't going to talk a lot, a lot about this stuff, but I want to get a few ideas across to you. The bottom piece I have down here, which happens, all these things here happen to lie in my root folder. My, that's the bare, that's the bottom. Uh, I guess you can think about it like that. The bottom folder. Um, and then you have subfolders that you'll start creating, which are called overlap groups and stack groups. But right now we have gears from A to Z. I'm going to press plus and I'm just going to add something random. I'm going to add some text. So when we add that text, there's some text right there. It's actually the time. Now where did it get added to? Whatever folder or group or whatever we are in, it's going to add it to the bottom of it. So let me scroll down a little bit more. Bam. That's now at the bottom. So I can tap on that text now, just showing you that it's right there. And let me show you a few things that we can do with this. And this is relating to the buttons that we're going to see up here. So here is that text that I just added to my root folder. So it added it to the very bottom. Now, that's the bottom one. If I check this box here, some of these buttons change. If I uncheck it, it goes back to that save and plus. So let me check it again. Let me click copy. That's the copy button. Actually, before I click copy, let me click the pin. The pin, I can change it. So I can call it time. 
All right. Look, it changed it down here. That helps with your organization. That's how I change these names here. Now, let me copy this. So I'm checking the box. Here's your copy button. And now you can navigate to new pieces. You can navigate through other folders and you can paste it. But I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and paste it right now. I'm in my root folder, so I'm going to paste it. And what it just did is it added a copy. See, two of them down here. Let me delete one of them. Not only can you copy, sometimes you might want to cut. Maybe I don't want the time to show up where it's showing up in my root folder. Let me tap on this. Let me cut. That's going to cut it. It's not gone yet. And watch this. It's going to disappear because of the way I have my custom live wallpaper set up. But if I go inside of this gears from A to Z, you may notice that things are changing up here. If I paste it inside of here, bam, it's gone. You might say, where did it go? Well, the way I had this set up, if I scroll over this way, there's that same text. And notice if I tap on this, um, I haven't mentioned this yet, but as you tap on things, whether it be like that, or if you want to go in and you want to edit it, whatever, you're going to see a red rectangle pop up around that item. But again, watch this. I'm going to take that. I'm going to delete it. Bam, it's gone. So that's the copy and paste, cut and paste. I think that's it for the buttons up there. Now let's talk about the root and all its sub pieces, I guess you could say. Now root, something important to remember about root. Um, the limit is 30 items. However, there is some uh, exceptions to the rule. If you're, if I go through here and I count all these items, which I'm not going to do, I might have somewhere near 30. Now the limit is 30, but if you're adding just basic shapes with no gradients, um, I'm not sure if text has an effect on that or not. But nonetheless, 30 items is what you want to try to keep it around. And, and once you've added too many, the app is going to tell you you've exceeded the number of pieces that you can add there. So keep that in mind, 30 items. But there are some exceptions to the rule, such as just basic shapes, no gradients. Um, obviously, these little things here, these things here are called overlap groups. These definitely count as one of those uh, 30 pieces. But something to remember about root as well is that these pieces that I have, ticker, 60N, 60M, 60K, all these things that you see, um, these things are the pieces that I can animate. I can't animate something that I put inside of one of these pieces. For example, let me go from gear, gears from A to Z. So inside of gears from A to Z, I have two more pieces. Now I'm inside of, okay, this was my root. Here's gears from A to Z. Let me tap on shape. So I'm, I'm, I got some shape in here. I don't have an animate option up here. Now I haven't talked about this top toolbar and I'm not gonna talk about it a lot, but the point I'm trying to get across to you is this. I don't see an animate thing up here because I'm not one drop down from my root folder. Let me back up one step. Now I am one drop down, notice it's highlighted. I'm one drop down from my root folder and I have that animate option. Every single item inside of my root folder, all of these items in here, I'll just click on another random one, 60T. Okay, 60T happens to be, I think it's that gear right there that you can slowly see rotating. But notice, that's one item down from my root folder, and I can animate it however I choose to animate it. And I do have an animation going on. So if you want to animate objects, you're going to have to put them inside of your root folder. All right, let's look at ticker. But before I do ticker, let me start talking about some of these buttons too, because we're going to need to zoom in on that probably. That little ticker going back and forth right there, that's that thing right there. So up here, I've mentioned this in other videos, you can add more pages. Uh, two to nine pages is what you can do. I have mine set to two. And if I scroll, notice that change to one. This is like page one. This is like page two or screen one, screen two. Now the zoom feature. Zoom and then we have this lock. These kind of work hand in hand. I'm going to tap on ticker. Even though you see, okay, the ticker is that thing right there. All right. Well, suppose I want to get a little bit closer. Now, here's my, whoops, here's my root folder. If I, if you can cut the zoom on whenever you want, but this is the zoom button. Now, when I tap on ticker, watch the screen change a little bit. It zooms in and it's actually kind of going crazy on me, but that's because this ticker is animating. So you can get a little bit closer, whereas if I cut the zoom off, you know, I'm zoomed out. But sometimes that can be helpful to zoom in and see a little bit more. Now, if I press this right now, check out what that just did. That will lock in whatever screen I'm on. So watch this. If I back out to my root folder, it does not zoom out. This locked wherever I was zoomed in at. So 
unlock. I'm back at my regular screen. If I my zoom's still on, I'm gonna zoom in on my ticker. And then if I press lock, bam, it locks it. So now the screen's not like jumping out at you or anything like that. So those two features work real nice together. Um, if I press unlock, you know, it's bouncing again. If I cut the zoom off, it's zooming back out. But this can be helpful as you are trying to fine tune things. Uh, what's another piece I can show you from here? Maybe the clock, let's see, clock background. I have a whole bunch of pieces inside of here. So I have a 12 to 130 cut. That's probably this little funky shape that you see right there. So if I tap on it, you, you might say, well, where is it? What are we doing? Well, let me zoom in. It's actually this piece right here. Um, I'm going to just show you, I don't know if you see that thing changing. Um, you see that little shape moving around? But, uh, you know, it, it does, the zoom feature is nice. It helps you fine tune things as you're working on your custom live wallpaper. So that's the zoom, and again, there's the lock. Now, something else to mention. Notice back in my root folder, I'm seeing everything. Suppose I wanted to focus on a particular layer, layers or modules or overlap groups or whatever. For example, 60N. Okay, I'm zoomed in on it. It's that gear right there. That gear is animating. And it, the reason why it's animating is because I, I have it one layer down from my root or one piece down. You can only animate, animate things that are one piece down from the root. Only the items that are in your root folder. Please, please remember that. Watch this. If I press this button right here, it's going to hide everything except for the piece that I currently have selected. See that? That's the hide layer button. So that's hiding it. That's bringing everything back. If I go back to my root folder, let me go to ticker. Watch this. Okay, so let's explore a few things. Ticker, going crazy. All right, I'm zoomed in on it. I'm zoomed out. I'm zoomed in. Let me lock it. Bam. All right, now let me hide all this other, other stuff except for that little ticker going back and forth. Bam. Check it out. Everything, I'm zoomed in. I got it locked so it's not bouncing up and down. I mean, look, watch what happens if I unlock it. See, that's crazy. It's, I'm getting dizzy. So if I lock it in, I'm locked in. I got everything hidden because of that. If I press this, I'm going to see my clock again. So hopefully you do see the importance of how you can mix these three features together to fine tune your custom live wallpaper. Other things too, the pause button that will pause clock animations. Notice when I press that, my hours, well my hours didn't go back, my seconds did, my seconds and my minutes, but I think my hours stayed where it was. But nonetheless, look, you know, that's pausing those animations. Do I really use that a lot? No. But nonetheless, there they are if you want it. The magnetic sensor, I think that has something to do with the gyro animation, but I haven't really messed, that with, messed with that too much because I don't use the gyro animation too much. But uh, there's your basic overview. And again, I can't stress it to you enough about this root folder. Only these items here inside of the root folder can be animated. And to emphasize that even more, let me take the, I think, what was it, 60 in? Remember that little gear right here? Let me take that and let me cut it. So I'm going to remove it from here and let me put it inside of, say, um, <laughs> okay, this is going to look crazy. Well, let me put it inside my ticker. So I've cut it. It's not gone yet, but watch this. When I paste it inside of here, bam all right it is animating totally different than what it was over here because this individual gear right here that i just cut and paste right there it is animating based on how i have this entire group this entire thing remember one down from the root you can animate and it's animating pretty much the same way let me lock this in i'm getting dizzy but notice the ticker is going back and forth back and forth that's how that gear is animating because the entire group that I called ticker, let me back up to the items, the ticker, the little circle that you see down there. Let me hide, oh, there we go. Look, that little circle that you see right there, that's that thing there. The ticker is this actual rectangle. This gear is that gear right there. All these things are animating based on that. However, if I drop down one more item, if I go to my gear, notice I'm going to be one, two items down, I cannot animate that gear any different than what I'm animating the whole ticker group. So only one group down can you animate stuff. Keep that in mind. 
And remember what I said at the beginning, you can only have 30 items in the root folder. Again, there are some exceptions to the rule, and I did mention those. But there you have it. Um, now what I'm going to do here, I don't want to save my changes, so I'm going to discard. That way I don't mess up what I already had created here. But there you have the general overview to the advanced editor in KOWP. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.